from Homestyle Customs. We make high quality laser ready uh, digital cut files. Um, you could find us on Etsy um, at Homestyle Customs or you could search homestylecustoms.com in your browser and our Etsy store will, will link to, uh, to that. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add text to some of the monograms we sell on our store. Um, in this case I'm going to be showing you how to do that on Inkscape. If you're looking for an illustrated tutorial, we did that last time. So the link, or sorry, the video will be in our uh, YouTube channel. So you could go there now. Uh, but this is for Inkscape, so let's get started. Um, so first we're going to open up uh, the folder that you would have received with the monograms. Um, we're going to go to A to Z. For this one, we're going we're gonna to replicate this one, which is the E for Emily uh, file. So let's go to that file here. We'll go to the E. I'm just going to open it up with Inkscape. And it takes a bit. Um, coming from Illustrator, I find Inkscape very uh, clumsy. Um, I haven't used it a lot, um, but I've learned how to do everything we needed to do to cut your files and get them prepared. So there's the E. First thing it, it's going to do is it's, it's going to import it as one entire um, vector image. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to ungroup the top and the bottom. So we go to Object at the top. We hit Ungroup, and that's just going to separate the file into two parts. Next we take the text tool which is here. We're going to add some text on the screen. In this case it's Emily we're doing. And I'm just going to change the font here to times bold because that's what we did in the last one. And now that it's times bold we could resize it. Uh, so there's a couple things to you could do here. To keep the scale in, um, I'm using a Mac and it's the control key. So this keeps the, the scaling and the proportions of the text. Um, in Illustrator it's shift, but I found out in this it's control. So hold control while you're, while you're moving it around, or sorry, um, changing the size of it. And what I like to do is get it perfect where you want it, just over the edges. Um, from here, now that it has its proportions, if you click back into the text button, you'll see this up here, which is just the spacing between letters. So I think I think that was doing it. So here we can highlight it even. So if you go up in this, you'll start seeing the letters move apart. So this is all personal, uh, how you want it to visually look. So it's up to you. I'm just showing you what works for me. Um, so I like I like punching up the space a bit just so the letters are proportioned, they don't look stretched. And this will depend on how short or long your, your name is. But let's let's keep it around um, like a seven. Okay, so now we have that. I am gonna stretch it a bit just to fill it out, but I find that the proportions of the letters stay more consistent and they look more like letters uh, when they're proportioned to how they were created. Um, so now that we have that, it's recognized as uh, text still. So what we want to do is we want to change that to a path. So up at the top you hit object um, Sorry, you hit path at the top and you go to object to path So click that and now this is no longer text. It's an actual graphic So if you take this tool, it's not going to allow you to uh, update it or anything or change it So you have this now what you want to do is you want to ungroup it because right now it is all grouped together so you go to object and you go to ungroup so now each one of these letters is a different object. Okay, so now you could highlight the entire thing to select all. You could go up to edit, I believe. Uh, yes, edit and then select all. And that will do the same thing as highlighting the entire thing. So from this point, you want to go to path at the top and you want to go to union, which is this one here. Now that's going to make one complete vector image, um, but it is going to add the fill. So you can visually see how it's going to look with the fill. Now what we want to do is we want to change it from a fill to a stroke 
because if you import this into your Glowforge or your other laser software, it's going to recognize it as an engraving. And we don't want that. We would just want a cut line. So go to the side here. You'll see fill. I think it's this one here. So um, if you click that, it's going to open up this screen here. You'll see fill. So with this, we don't want to fill. So we're going to hit the X, no paint. Next, we hit stroke. So we now we want to add the stroke. So we're the first one where it says flat color. Click that there. And now you have a stroke. Um, and this is ready to save as an SVG. I normally uh, change the, the width a bit of the stroke just to make it a little skinnier so you could really see where the cut lines exactly will be. Um, but that's that. So now it's a complete file. Go to File, Save As. It's going to save it as an Inkscape SVG. So you could save it on your desktop. And this is the uh, Emily uh, Floral SVG. Save it to the desktop. And it is there. And we could just preview it quickly. And that's it. That's how you make um, an SVG file with Inkscape. So in the second part of the tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to add uh, text to this uh, monogram here, which is a little different than the floral monogram because we won't be ungrouping it and it's not split in the middle. Uh, so let's get started. I'll show you how to add all the text and the text on the bottom in Inkscape. Uh, so go to your file. We're going to open it with Inkscape. Give it a second. It's going to open. Okay, so there it is here. Let's just make the screen a little bit bigger because it sizes it small for some reason. Um, so there we go. We have the image here. Um, so right now we don't have to follow those other steps where we're ungrouping this. So we could just jump right into adding the text. So I think it was Stevenson, S-T-E-B-E-N-S-O-N. -E -E so we'll add that. Oops, grab the wrong one there. So we're going to add the center of the text there uh, just to, to visualize it. Next, we get to uh, choose our font. Let's go back to the text tool here. Um, and you can find all your fonts up here. I'm just going to search for, um, let's, do, let's do times in the center. So bold. Let's hold down control to keep the proportions. And then when we get close enough, about there we'll just shrink it down just over the lines because you want it to all connect um, so that looks good for me next we're going to add more text on the bottom so let's add established est 2020 um, so let's change that font to uh, like a bolder font impact will go And I'll leave it normal. That looks fine. Okay, so let's move that down to the bottom. And we're going to just make it a little smaller so it fits in. Zero key. And I think that looks good there. So that looks good. Um, so now that we have the text in the center there, what we want to do is we want to align it. So it just looks centered and everything's proportionally correct. So what you want to do is you want to select everything. You can select them separately like this by holding the shift key. So click, 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 hold shift, and that will select all. Or you can just go to edit, uh, select all here. I'll do the same thing. Next, you want to go to object in the drop down. Go down to align and distribute. It's going to open up this here. What you want to do is you want to align everything vertically on a vertical axis. So when you click that, you're going to see the text move, and it's actually going to align everything perfectly to that monogram because everything's selected there. Okay, so now you now that everything's aligned, you know it's good. You could go ahead and close this uh, because there's some other stuff that we'll, we'll need here. Um, so when you have this, what we want to do now is we want to change it from text, and we want to put it to um, a path. So when you want to go to path, go to object to path, so now that's not text anymore. That's actually a path. 
So now you have both of those as paths. What you want to do is you want to ungroup them. So object, go to ungroup, and that's going to keep everything separate. So now it's no longer one image. Each letter is an individual uh, vector like graphic. Now what you want to do is you want to uh, select, oops, sorry, I moved that. I just press con, uh, Control Z to go back or Command Z, depending if you're using a Mac. Um, so what you want to do is you want to select all that, that text that is now an object. You want to hit this tool here, which is the Edit Paths by Nodes. So you're going to get that. And then with the Shift key held down, you just want to click the monogram. So now everything's um, selected and you could, the, the nodes or the anchor points are uh, visual. So now what you want to do is you want to go to uh, Path. You want to hit Union. And what that's going to do is that's going to union everything together to make one graphic. Um, it's going to change it to a fill. So just like the other one, we want to uh, go to the fill, which is, um, I think yeah, it's this one here. So once you click this, this will pop up. You want to hit the X to remove the fill. You now want to add the stroke. Hit the stroke button, and that's going to give you all the outlines. And let's change the down to 0.5, just so you can really see um, the cut lines a little better. And now you're going to see that it's all unionized together, and it's one complete file. So now you're ready for saving it as an SVG. Um, so save as SVG. It's already selected. And you could go Stevenson SVG. Um, and you can just do the type of round monogram. Just for your record. I like trying to stay as organized as possible. Um, because or else it's very confusing. So now that we saved it, you can minimize it, and you'll see that the full the file that we just saved is right there. That's an SVG that's now ready to import into your laser software, your Glowforge software. Um, so there you go. Thanks for watching um, another tutorial by Homestyle Customs. Uh, please visit our Etsy store. Visit us on social media. Um, if you like our products, please give us a review on Etsy. Um, and also, if you need anything, send us an email, info at homestylecustoms.com, and we'll help you out with all your questions, whatever you need. Just shoot me a, a message. I'm also on Facebook and a bunch of the groups uh, under Matthew DeClerc, so feel free to reach out. Thank you.